allowing so the water leaves in San Cristobal because he visits San Cristobal. We have an endemic species in San Cristobal. When they see the castle, the doctor, they have to get They can eat going inside on the barrel. <laughs> That they were raised for eating or for selling. Oh, yeah. plastic. They're not plastic, they're <laughs> real. This is where they live. <laughs> Short legs, it wouldn't even sit along neck. What's the evolution for you? I want to tell you why we're here, what happened with all these things here, what's the mystery behind our presence and many more people coming here. Is everybody? Yeah. Oh, you First are. of all, oh. the very famous post office bay beach where we've landed already. That area, that beach has witnessed the arrival of thousands and thousands of number one. Once in Australia, Switzerland, Switzerland. 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 Switzerland.
differences in terms of coloration. I ate the heron, it's colorful here, on the front, on the chest. But, uh, That's already the smallest. And in between we have, for example, a yellow crowned night heron. Not that flamingos are pinky since the day they're born. A castle-like structure with the rich mud of this lagoon, and then they lay a the single egg. Just one. One at a time and one a year. So flamingos life expectancy in this particular archipelago is nearly 30 years. Some of the research but uh, what's the message regarding those flowers? There's a tradition by the Ecuadorian coast and also here with the local people, but the ancient local people, not the modern ones. Um, yeah. You see what I mean about this different color? Ahí los encuentro siempre. Tal vez se quedaron atrapados y ahora el agua está echando se van. Pero ahorita se pueden salir. They look like a couple. Ajá, they could be a couple. Pero en el honeymoon. Qué hermoso. Qué bonito. Qué bonito. Qué bonito. Qué Oh, 
that one there with its arm around the other one. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, the yellow ones are more brighter. Oh, there you go. Yeah. They are damsel fish. Damsel fish. Ah, look at the lava here. Come and see the lava. Hey, without moving until he has a fish passing by. As soon as he sees some fish. Yeah. Oh, there's garden. Now he's going to be patrolling his garden because he sees some algae coming wider. Oh. It's like humor. Well, we get all there, like, ah! Is he going to the traps? Who? The dams. Oh, that's it. So it's not as cool as the green sea turtle. But they find out that this turtle is make jewelry out of it because of the nice coloration. It looks very similar to this turtle. It's quite it's brownish, like dark brownish with some softer brown, but it's not a gray. So they haven't found out yet. It doesn't have a name. But they are considered in an endemic species. Oh, and they won't have to be worth it. But it's not bad. You know, it's not the time we're looking for. Do that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so now that we that we have a lot of mangroves there, uh, but sometimes they can be uh, without knowing. It's gonna go and it's to learn. I don't know if that tastes good to them though. <laughs> <laughs> if you came in a boat, sailing about 10 miles an hour, oh, they can leave up to 20. Can we go for a coffee? Let's help them communicate. Uh -huh. now, you want to do the push-ups? I mean, <laughs> nobody to do the push-ups. And they need to warm up. For the iguanas, we will see that it's green. It's like semi digested. Oh, no, some, other, some other islands, we can decide on their mouth to feed. And the algae actually gets it. So when we have the mini events, only the bigger iguanas get affected. But small ones. I will be so happy to send this picture to the Charles Darwin station. Sometimes we we have to any anomaly we see around, take a picture and send it to the Charles Darwin station.
in the night especially because I know what happened a lot of us. Uh, this uh, device show me the other contacts, for example, this point, this point, these other boats. Right. This is so is that the island we could see? This is Damne. Right. Damne, Maya, Damne, Damne Mayo. Right. This is the Santa Cruz Island, this mm -hmm. part. This circle is the wet point. It's programmed with the GPS. They have to program the GPS in latitude, in coordinates, latitude, longitude, and the GPS send information and show me the course that I need for a ride to the next wet point and the course, the speed, the bearings, distance for the reference and they have a so very important device for the night, especially the automatic identification system. You can see other the name of the other boats and other information, specific information how name, bearing, coordinates, uh, positions, speed, course of all the boats and they should go only that course to correct the, the, the current and the wind all the time. Oh, so it sort of automatically yes, changes it's it. Automatic. Yeah. But I have to change when I need other course I have to change for here. Yes, for example, I put the, the bow is going to the wheel house. The steering is this. I don't have the romantic <laughs> wheel. <laughs> 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 I want to adjust it here. Uh, this is a control for the sailing and for the uh, arrive. I have to change to model. I have to drive for here. And here. Yes. The ship has a two engine. The maximum RPM for each engine is 750 RPM. It's controlled directly from the bridge. Uh, in the engine room, all time is people. People, I have to follow all time in communication for regulator RPM. VHF radios in Brazil, with a telephone. And the control for the internet and the, the telephones in, in your cabins. Did they still make This is the control for the, for the internet and the telephones. Each, each heading in the has a specific nautical chart. This is the plan, the rules for the for the week. And this morning is here, mm -hmm. Seymour, and go to Baltra, yeah. we'll say diesel, and then it's going to get for this wet point. This wet point is show you, show you the radar, it's a circle. And then I have to change on the right to Dragon Hill is this area. Right. Now it's in the center of the Chipola, Santiago, Ravida, Pinzo, Santa Cruz. We have a lot of us, but look at this Pinzo, Ravida, Santiago, mm -hmm. and Santa Cruz. I see the each places. Probably I have to change when this ship went to the right now. Charles Darwin took to England. by the tortoises yeah. before he made E.T. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, I look at the movie, it's like E.T. Yeah. The temperature of the eggs. They yeah. find a lot of food, and then they have all these introduced fruits into the trees. And then, but what are the females? The females probably run out. They are in the nesting area. We don't see many of them because they have to move to the lowlands. Not to the beach. So, for an island with high altitude like this one, so the tortoises are in this area with the rain. Mm -hmm. 
and arrived to the Galapagos. They were very small in size. This is the way how they got here. Yeah, and then evolved in the island. Nicholas. Really, we didn't have an idea how many hundred thousand there were killed. And that's why we don't have three species of them. They're gone forever. The one that we have species, all of them. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, this is the most Let's see where the tortoise is. Is in the corner? Oh, the tortoise is going. It's mm. going back and following the path. He saw Robin, so he's been chased. <laughs> yeah. Tortoise is walking. Hey guys, the guy just saying go this way. Yeah. Now you see the tail of this female tortoise. It has very small tail. Mm -hmm. See it? Yeah. Yeah, it's good, but we can also, we have a path here. More minutes to go. So we're going to go inside the bushes to see what we find. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully the farm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we don't go with there anymore. So they're going to make a little hole, lay the eggs. Actually, they're going to make a hole. Cover it with dirt. So that's why they lay so many eggs. This guy lays in between six. No, no, no. That's good. Can I be a picture? Why are you buying Okay, How long would everyone At some point, we'll be. We'll be anywhere in the Yeah. Same gene pool all the time. But. It's interesting we have now three You could have races. So the genetic would be three and we get twelve. Yeah. Short joke is it? Sign over there. This is Espanola, this is Espanola, that's Espanola. No. The other one is not Espanola, it's Santiago. And like this is another one, Pinzon, and like this. We have all this place behind about uh, six in the afternoon. Everything is isolated and uh, they survive very well. For the first two years, after two years, the uh, carapace is, is enough uh, strong in order to resist the rock uh, right before they are replicated to the islands. By the time they reach five years old, they will be fine. Yes, uh, when they are babies, it's very okay. difficult. They are pretty much the same thing. Uh, but when they grow a little more, then we see some steps in the Now, this is step over here for me, one of the most important different types. Be developing this natural instinct to survive. So eventually, tortoises will be biting and be running at least for maybe 300 years mm -hmm. from now. Mm -hmm. So it's a program should be keep running mm -hmm. a lot in order to. And the trunk is very tall, and all the paths basically are with, will be outside, catching better life. And then this effect, which is beautiful, by the time uh, mm -hmm. the, the cactus reach 30, 40 years old, then shape all these thorns from the bark and will be very cool. Mm -hmm. That's endemic to the Lapagos as well. It's endemic to the Lapagos. We've been here for 30 years. You feed them right from the snow? No. Mm -hmm. This time I'm going to buy a lot of males. And you need a plastron. Underneath there? The plastron. So oh, okay. The carpet is down here. So it should like be a surgery. Like, like humans. Yeah. It's not the same as humans.
the bigger. We have most of the... It's Galapagos dog. Ring around the eyes. Galapagos dog. So where's the one that's already here? The diamond. They don't get so big as the ones on Bernardino. They're pretty big compared to the one. What else very special we have here? Oh, we have the fishes also. We have the large cactus grass where the women have the water. Remember, if you carry a bottle of water with, that is clear color, and this is the most of the same and put it in your hand. And you go like this in the pot, you have a lot of holes. And you can see a lot of little pools everywhere. The camera is not so high, it's only 400 meters high, but it's high enough for the tortoises to live. Huh? So when Charles Darwin was, was passing by, and he wouldn't mind our presence. So he won't fly in three more over there. Okay. The more I went to the right of this. That's lava hair. Lava hair? Nice one, good call. Good side. Ah, oh, still. A lot of sea lions get killed by the sharks. You know how many types of sea lions get killed? Look at this guy from Trump. The biggest population in the world, about 120,000 couples of Nazca booby, of I'm sorry, red for the boobies. And these guys have a very interesting life behavior. For example, uh, Nazca boobies are gonna make the nest with the same area. So he's gonna have a nice green circle inside and a white ring of food. <laughs> and the red for the boobies are gonna make the nest on a tree on top of the bushes that's where it, that is gonna be his feeding ground so they nest different they look completely different they have different feeding behaviors they have different couples every single year they all can lay up to three eggs no?
You remember the name of these little birds here? For sin. Because he could be prey of a hawk. He could be also... He could also die because of not having enough food. <laughs> Everybody sees on each other. Society is too small. <laughs> and a lot of people work on... <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. But it's, it's endemic species though. What is the name? Oh, look at this little dog. This is a large captive girl. Same size as him, but two times heavier. <laughs> He's gonna be looking like a little fat ball. <laughs> uh, they don't look white as the boobies we have seen. They look brown. So it's like a little cotton ball, but brown, dirty. And he's gonna reach his his what? His bigger size, size like his normal size, his other size completely fat and when he's small he's gonna get to it every two days at the beginning the first two weeks three weeks and then he's gonna get to it each five days then up to uh, once a week and then even up to 21 days each 21 days he will eat and it's because the parents need to eat, spend a lot of time in deep waters sometimes they make a 1000 round trip they go 500 miles straight, they go eat, come back straight, no? 1,000 miles, 21 days eating. They will come with a lot of this oil. Yeah. 
Thank <laughs> you. 